Hello there, my good fellow viewers, and welcome back to Frasier. We took over this. It was a pretty boring war, just marsh and occupied this stuff. It wasn't worth watching, don't you worry. But we are about to have another even more fun one. An economic war, mainly. Um, Oldenburg over here. I'm going to claim this land. You're going to try and take over Oldenburg because I want more sailors. We currently produce 15 a month while using 15 a month. So I need another port city to try and up it a little. Anyway, they have some allies here. Um, Verden, Pomerania. You know, that kind of stuff. And you know they've got money, so we're gonna we're gonna fight them. We're gonna take over these guys straight away. I'm gonna have my two friends come in to join me. We're just gonna go and occupy all these people's lands and take their money, and I'm gonna invest their money into my land because that is basically what being European is. You take one person's money, you invest it into your land, and then you become stronger. If you think through history, that's that's it. It's really that simple. So, uh, here we go. He's got military tech 5. I've got military tech 5. I've got military tech every uh, everything tech 5. And uh, we've got... Uh, bureaucracy. We invented bureaucracy over here on Friesland. But anyway, Oldenburg, it is time to go. Mecklenburg and Brunswick, you will be invited to join us. Excellent. And forward! Fede Bergsma is on the march. Oh, shit. Forgot about that. Their armies may be able to defeat us if they bring in these extra 6,000 men, which they are going to do, and my allies do nothing to help me. That is a major concern. A very major concern, which was not meant to happen. I out morale these people, which is obviously a good start. Excellent, he is coming this way now. On the 22nd, he'll arrive there, and then he'll come over to join us, no doubt, in the battlefield. Hi, the engineer. 40 military points. I will take them. We did a new mission, improve our prestige. We'll try and get our prestige up this walk. 22nd, he arrives there, and he arrives here on the 27th. So we need to hold out that long, which we might even win without his help anyway. Excellent! Excellent. Me and my good friends are ganging up on him. So we'll, uh, we'll detach enough men here. We'll go to Oldenburg. We'll, we'll detach an army there. And everybody else, we're going to be marching off to Stada. Stada. We're going to be wiping his army out, which leaves just the Pomeranian forces. Pomeranian forces I am not strong enough to take over by myself, but... Say we had some friends who joined us. You know, friendlies can attach. Okay, he's leaving there. But if we took both of our armies over there and we dealt with that... Only one way to do it. Instead of having all these people over here, we could just have them. Bavaria, your ally is calling you to arms against Bohemia. Bohemia is allied to Ottomans of Poland. Bohemia is not really a threat to me, but they might be here. And Poland there might get in the way of this here war. I might need my allies to take care of that. So we're going to join it and hopefully not be impacted by it. Oh no, this looks... This looks very, uh, very positive for us. Okay, very good. Maybe I'll even go and play a part in that war. Maybe. But let us leave some fellows behind and then take the rest of the army to go and defeat Pomerania. That's what I believe in. That's what I'm good at. Yes. That's the saying, is it? Is that what Baelish said? Something like that. Excellent, we're going to engage them here. Yeah. My men, unfortunately, in the front lines, but uh, the army has to be led by someone of worth. He's on military tech 5, but he seems to be doing uh, very good, considering the whole fact he was outnumbered nearly 2 to 1. Yes, he had that extra 1 point of morale. But let's march down Stettin and wipe him out. Excellent. So we're going to want you to. I'm going to split you in half. We're going to have some of you go there. And some of you go there. As for those who want another two divisions, please. Excellent. Split in half. Some of you there. And some of you there. Now, as the movie... As the... Not the movies. As the armies uh, slowly CG out the other people. Uh, we're in war. We're not, we're not going to elect someone new at war. 
I'm going to get some uh, Diplo points, apparently. So we're going to sit here and hope that nobody comes along to defeat us. That's basically the plan. A new Cardinal, you say? Well, there's something at least. Uh, we could use this guy to seize other places, or we could use him just to stand there. Like, we could march through all of his other provinces and just take them all out and not be so uh, thinly spread. Bohemia's strong. Looks like they did take over some stuff on the way, but they're weak enough that we can not have to worry about them. So what have we got going on over here? We've minus 49, of course. This is why you need more allies. More siege stacks. Because my men are spread so thin, it doesn't really do anything. Mecklenburg is now defending against... Oh, fuck. Bremen, Hamburg. Nimberg, I can't. That's going to cost me my prestige. Very unfortunate. Wait, what? Oh, shit. I've got them to deal with. Alright. Alright, alright. Uh, we might have to get Pomerania out of this sooner rather than later. They're not really feeling it. Okay, luckily... Luckily, we can besiege their other two areas. The ones without fortifications, and we can try and squeeze them out. Has anybody joined my side here? Yes, Brunswick and Mecklenburg have. And now he's joined on their side. Munster, ah. Well, Munster wants to reconquest their land, it would seem. Excellent, could you, could you stay around where the armies are, my good friends? No, he doesn't want to. Ah. Well, having free fortifications might save you here, Pomerania. Could we... Excellent. We'll see if we can get Pomerania out. So, province... Of course. Uh, get everyone over here. We can't risk him rebuilding any armies. That would be dire. But we do have people here. We don't want to really let him get up, because he's going to Unsbrück. He's coming this way, and we are all spread out all over the place. Okay, I might have to go and deal with these fuckers, knock them out. Oh, I did not expect it to go so terribly so fast. Because these sieges really are not... The type of sieges you want to be under, minus six. Okay, so they won't be terribly long there. So we'll, uh, we'll leave you guys behind. The rest of the army is going to march over to here, where we apparently no longer have a siege stack. Ay, ay, ay. Apparently we no longer have a siege stack, eh? All the sieges are just terrible. Wait, that's... Ah, that's a 100. That's not actually a fortress. We could take that. Okay, that's all well and good. Hopefully my fortifications will last then. Hopefully. Iberian wedding, so soon. Oh, he's died, damn it. A military candidate, we're at war. Johan, Wilma, what's his face? And Johan, Wilma, get over here. You need to get ahead of the army at once. Do you have a siege pip? Nope. Well then, Pomerania, super peace, they'll take it. And it might give me money if we wait a tick. Ah! Not worth it, we're we'll playing with fire here. Super peace, we'll take it. Get out of here, Pomerania. All of you men, make your way to here, and we are under risk of attack. That is happening. We should have defensible terrain because he's not the guy, is he? We are superior morale, but he does have another 9,000 men coming in. I don't have that many. Yes, he's going to stay. Stard. He's going to Stard. 
Yeah, my ally is getting fucked. I have no extra men to join my attack here. We have our general coming on on the 30th. Excellent, he's arrived, but nowhere near soon enough. Where are you? You are under attack. Oh, shiver me timbers, this is going all over the place. And I have no money left. Uh, now we got corruption growing, of course. Right, Yonan fucked up. We're going all the way there. What the fuck? Right, that was a disaster. That was a complete and utter disaster. Uh, right, we're going to end up being in debt again. That was so f fucking annoying. We had it. All we had to do was siege out these places one at a time and I could have done everything perfectly. But no, these dumb fucks have to invade from the south. Ay, ay, ay. And I'm losing my men on the retreat. Yes, this is now my entire army. This here, eight divisions, which will take forever to regrow their manpower. Luckily enough, we have Yonan. We do have Yonan. Right, that's actually nine divisions. It's going to take bloody forever to get any manpower. Can we ask for some more? We gain influence. If you gain influence, not enough influence. Ah, that's a shame. That is a huge shame. How many levies would it give me? A thousand odd men. Not terribly many. 3.4 thousand, do you say again? I get in a. E. And that's just one big fortification. That is all they are. Look at them! And I'm at risk of losing all of my allies here. I already did lose... Um, Mecklenburg, didn't I? I already did lose Mecklenburg. Right. Wait, so who's in this war? Brunswick and Mecklenburg. Brunswick and Mecklenburg. What about my other allies? I had four. I remember them, they were my friends. Okay. I don't know where my other allies are, but they are gone. I'm sure I was friends with Saxe Lundberg. I'm sure of it. Now I'm at a real risk of all of my friends dying. And I am landlocked, in the middle of nowhere, unable to get to my own land. Ah. Ah, Brunswick and Mecklenburg. What is your war? As you ask Linus, whether you like it or not. Conquest of Wismar. Okay, hopefully that's all they'll take, and then he'll rebuild his army. You... Fuck knows what's going on here. You're in the same free wars? Somebody's actually actively going after your land. So it is a distraction for my enemies. Uh, yes, I don't understand why I am locked out of my own country, though. Now he's rebuilding his army. At least we got Pomerania out. Start. Verden, can we get you out? Of course not. Why would that be an option? And I can't raise mercenaries anywhere, can I? Only my own personally occupied land. I'm not going to occupy anything when we don't have Pomerania. If I occupied Pomerania at the very least, we could build shit there. What if I built mercenaries over this way? It looks like they're doing uh, better. No, we still number them. I guess that includes my men. Okay, I'm going to have to beg for access to get to my own bloody country now. Give me access, you fool. You access now. Terrific. So we can march to 
here. That's all one place. We can march to here. That's something while well, hoping that we do not get engaged. But they would lift the siege if they did engage. Because then we could hire some mercenaries. And that would be terrific. Every month tick we get so many more men back. Right. We're going to have to surrender you temporarily to the nobility. I'm sorry. Nobility? Please give me levy. And some military power. You can have a diet. And I'll ask you for some money, my good friends. Right, so anywhere near a military deck? Nowhere near at all. But we now have manpower to throw to our men. Excellent. And now there is another mercenary. Only 30 to build. Okay, so we're about to go into debt. Debt is about to happen. Oh, I need so much money to build that man, but... Longbowman, build. As the army will go to Jelra, I need to take that before they win on my own land. Which might not give me terribly long. Alright, they're at zero. Good. That's an extra little bit of time I have for that. So we can't let them have a positive. Oh, that can I take? I can take construction costs. Alright, we are numbered by a couple of thousand men. So we'll take this. We're going to have the extra few thousand men come. We'll have you there. We'll have you there. Excellent. All of these men are going to be marching straight into there. We will have a defensive terrain. And the extra few men. We will defeat his army and no one will come to help him. Good. Get over there, boys. And the rest of you. Oh, there's no way to get him near, so we should amass our army here. We'll do that. We'll merge that up. He's on our side now. I want friendlies to attach to me. Okay, so it's you two. Not really that much of an issue. He has 16,000 in total. Now, if I embrace this, for those several ducats, I am very close to military. We should focus in military for now. Get closer to that. How many loans can I have here? I'm going to be very much in debt. I can have 45. Okay. Okay, we're going to merge you fellows down to that. That's 12 divisions. We're going to get two more mercenaries. Excellent. I'm going to march you over to here. I'm now losing only 8 ducats per month. Not terribly bad. It could be a lot worse. That's one way to look at it. Right, we're going to siege out Oldenburg. Oh, we're going to siege out him and get him out of the war right immediately. Because they've got to wait for that to siege it. So we can maybe take him out. In fact, if they split up, that is another thing we can work on. If they all fuck about and leave... No, he just came straight back. So they have 17 there. They have 17. Right, because this is the war we want to get out. We want to get Brabant out. So where's your capital, Brabant? Is that... We're going to see these guys here to get Brabant weaker. That's what we're going to try. We're going to keep this money up. I want another couple of guys. I don't feel strong enough. I want 16,000. Who is that? It's just them. Munster and Brabant. Munster and Brabant. We have 30% on you, so we could take something out here. 
take a bit of money. Not terribly much. We could get out of this war if we so wished. Everybody would be happy. They'd be happy with that. Which would leave me just against you. Alright, Oldenburg. It was a war for money, but I probably lost by doing it. 72. I will take it, Oldenburg. Get out of here. I'll come back for you another time. For now, I have shit to do, and I need all of my friends on this. So I think it is... I think these guys are... They're just waiting on that. So we've got to win this before they win that to get him out of the war. But then they might go there and sit there anyway, which means I will have plenty of time here. Utrecht likes me. Okay, whatever. It would be good if I had a siege pip, but I can live without it. I can repay a loan. That would take all the money we have. So let's not bother. Right. Ooh, ah, corruption. That'll do for this episode. I will see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. It's changed from my original plan quite far. So I will uh, I'll see you guys then.